Adam Bazalgette here, founder of Scratch Golf Academy. Today's subject, how to take a divot in front of the ball. This beguiles people and it needn't. It's easy to do, at least in theory. And I'm going to show you the principles, what you need to do, and a really good drill, I think, at the end. You can customize this. You can do it. You can get a divot in front of the ball. Not that difficult. Very quickly, if you're new to the channel, perhaps you've watched the videos before but have never subscribed, would really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button. Helps us build momentum at the channel. We want to keep bringing you free content. Also, hit the bell there. You'll get notified each time there's a new video. Thanks. Davis Love the third. Love to have his iron game. Let's see how he does it. Definitely ball then divot. So let's have a look at this. When is Where is the true bottom of the swing? Well, it's when the shaft gets vertical. If you look at the shaft there, it's vertical and that represents bottom of the golf swing. And if we go back, let's move that line. Let's go back to address. Let's put a big red mark on the golf ball. That is happening past the ball. So all you have to do is get that handle past the golf ball and then your divot will be past the golf ball. So handle pass golf ball equals bottom out point in front of golf ball or divot in front of ball if you like. The more shaft lean you have, try this if you have a club at home, the more pressure you can apply to the ground. And of course, if you had that kind of shaft lean as you get to the ball, you would dig a trench for a divot. We don't want to do that. You only want a little small divot. So let's have a look at a pro. How do we take some of that downward hit? How do we take some of the depth of the divot out, but still maintain that nice dynamic look in the golf club? When we get back out, we'll look at that. I've got a nice drill for you at the end. So Grant Waite there, great ball striker on the tour for many years. He's been retired for a while now, but here we go. Now you look at that right there. That club could literally drive deep into the ground there. But it doesn't, he actually does take a pretty big divot here as you watch it, but it doesn't drive deep into the ground for a couple of reasons. Let's look, let's say his belt buckle would be right about there. Look how that pushes up through the shot. You see how much his belt buckle's up? That's his glutes thrusting underneath him. That supplies space. And when your spine's bent forward, your left side will go up as your right side comes down. So watch how the left shoulder, which of course is what's controlling the left arm, watch how that starts to push up as he hits. So it's this upward rotation of the left side, this push under of the glutes that gives the club the space it needs so it doesn't slam into the ground. Let's try me in there, how about that? I'm a pro, just not a tour pro, but I think I can demonstrate it okay. Again, let's have a look here. There's the belt buckle. And look at the push up as I hit that there. You can see the left shoulder work up because again, without that, there is enough shaft lean there that that club would really pound into the ground. Well, that felt like a good shot. A quick word of caution before we go into our drill. One of the ways you can get this divot deeper and steeper is by swinging on a steeper plane, swinging from out here. It's disastrous, you don't want to do that. First off, you will have a bad swing path if you do that. Second off, you can't create the kind of speed from over here you can from over here. The club's a lot further from the ball here, a lot more whip, and finally, you get too much of this, you're gonna to have to bail out on some of the downward hit we're trying to instill, so be on your guard against fake downward hits with a steep plane. Let's have a look at our drill. Okay, let me give you a little drill here. You can actually use these alignment rods and do this, or you can just use the mental picture if you like, but here's the way the drill would work. We're trying to throw the rod or the imaginary, imaginary rod over there, maybe three, four yards ahead of the golf ball, down at the ground like that. Now, I'm telling you, you cannot have the club head end of it ahead of the handle and throw the thing down. So you'll automatically have the handle forward if you're able to hit the ground over there with the rod like that. Here's the thing, here's what you want to practice, then we'll get the golf club out. You want to feel as reasonably much downward force as you can with the, the stick or the club coming up in a minute. And as you do that, feel some push up with your hips. Feel your glutes rise and go up. So you've got one thing giving you less downward hit. As we've discussed, the other thing giving you more like that. So when we get the club in our hands, and I've got an eight iron here, 
what we're going to try to do is hit a fairly small shot. I'm going to give it a good pop though. Handle will get to, or hands will get to about there. My goal is to finish where I'm really nice and straight, tall in the hips, and the club is more down here. We do not want the club up here. Let's give it a try, see how we do. I'm going to try to give this a good push down. That just felt great. Makes me wonder why I don't play golf like that. Frankly, that shot felt so solid there. But that's what we're seeing these great players do. A lot of downward thrust and energy. Listen, if you're one of these people, if you want to be a bad ball striker, this is the thing you ought to think of. Keep my head down, watch the ball, and let the club just swing past me like that. You're never going to be any good if you do that. You've got to get out here and do these type of drills, especially if your you know, iron career is one of hitting high, soft, short irons, drop kicking it. You need this stuff. So get rid of the head down, swing the club idea. Let's do another one here. Little medium backswing. I'm going to go for a lot of downward force. Here we go. Yeah, and that's the finish you want. Hips up, wrists down, a lot of force going into the ground. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. We want to bring you more content that helps us get some momentum here at the channel. You can do this stuff. This divot in front of the ball stuff isn't just for pros. Anybody can do it. Just mix and match it till you get the kind of a hit that you think works for you. Some people are a little bit infirmed of their wrists and arms and things. They don't want to bash the ground too hard, but work on it. And to one degree or another, this is what you need.